Hey guys, it's me again and today we are going to see how to write equations in LaTeX, mathematical equations in LaTeX. It's a very simple step and um, it can do so much with so much ease. So let me get started. So first let me explain what do we need for it. So I'm only using one package called AMS map for equations. Everything else is the same. So I have document class of type particle. I start my begin document here and my end document is here my title starts here and make title okay so the first thing that you need to do is begin an equation and since you begin it you go and equation now here what you need to do is that you can put a simple equation something like this x equals y plus g and this will appear here now you see the equation already got numbered if you don't want it to get numbered you could put equation star and this star um, trick is good for any other environment like images or tables or whatever you can number you can put a star and that thing will not be numbered even a section if you say section it will be section one if you don't say section if you say section star it will be um, just a section without a number okay cool so let's go to something little more complex. For instance, fx equals to x square. So you could create functions like that in equation. I mean, you could do it out equation as well, but we are just progressing slowly. Or you could go, this is a summation of x1 and x2 and x3 and xn this way or you could instead write it in brevity like this so fx is sum of x so it's a sum of different x's but what x's let me call it x i's. So x f x is a sum of x i's, where i goes from one through n. But where do we put that one through n? That is the limit of this sum. So how do we put that? For that, you go um, sum underscore i equals one. That is for the bottom and n. So this caret character defines what goes below it and what goes above it here so i equals to 1 through n x i so pretty neat huh cool so that's your sum if you want to do integration it's the same way there is no difference you go fx equals int i equals 1 through n sorry x underscore i so that would make it integration instead of summation then uh -huh, let's see so I have a space here um, and it doesn't like the space so make sure that your end equation and the last equation last um, line statement of your equation has no space in between so that is one thing that you have to take care of let's see then there is um, something called um, this you call them what cases so cases are like when you have a need where you want to put an equation where it says x equals to 5 if this condition is satisfied otherwise it's 10 if this condition is satisfied this is 0 in all other conditions so for that what you do is x equals and then you begin your cases begin cases and since you begin cases you end cases now inside the cases you can put as much as you want so i'll say x is equal to 5 if um, x is divisible by 5 next line is 10 if x is divisible by 10 is next line negative 1 
otherwise. Cool, right? All that this is kind of doesn't make much sense. Now see the um there are three lines which is fine and which is what we wanted but this text is not coming right so for that what you can do is put this whole thing inside this text environment so that way it knows that this should be treated as regular text actually what's wrong with this file because that is the text like everything else okay makes sense cool so you could um, create different sp uh, cases and equations of that nature using this now there is one more thing that I want to show you before oops I just wanted to comment this whole thing together control so if you want to comment multiple lines, select the lines and then hit control, shift and bracket. So I use a Mac. I have this Windows as a um, boot camp. So on that I hit control, shift and bracket. In If you are using Mac, you could go command, shift and the right or left bracket based on if you want to comment or uncomment. I. So the last thing that I wanted to check, I wanted you to show wanted to show you is fractions fractions is amazing for instance if I say subtract first one is um, one or let me make a little complex x underscore y and um, the second subtract would be just something yeah, I mean it doesn't have to make sense right now because I'm just showing you I'm not actually writing something I guess I made a mistake somewhere um, it looks like subtract 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 and I don't think I need any other undefined control sequence frac subtract Let me just make sure that we're not missing any package here. Use packages. I don't think we needed that. Just to okay. So let me check in where I have used it before. Okay, I'm gonna copy that from somewhere else. So paste it here. Oh man, this copying sucks because I gotta just hang on for a minute and oh, okay, this is fine. So the fraction ends here. The subtract ends here. Everything looks fine again. Ah, oh, the problem was that we did not end the equation. My bad. So you see, no spaces. So if you want to put something on top of each other, you can use fractions. Okay, I didn't want it to be so complex. But let's see. You can put something like this here, like as complex as you want. Um, let's say 20 through 50. This is my formula. So you could do something like this. So i equals to 1 through n xi and this, 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 blah, blah, blah. This way you could um, put very complex formulas on top of each other. Okay, so this is what I had. And remember, this is the blog quicklatex.com. 
blogspot.com quick latex dot blogspot.com leave me a message or a comment if you have a question and I'll, I'll answer the question there or if the question is um, very generic in that case I might put a new video with the solution alright guys sayonara see you